What it is, what it is, what it is, YouTube, you know who it is. It's Triple Boy the Moose. Let's kick it. It likes to run, it loves to jump, no one could ever stop. A big or small body, it will be there, no matter where or when. It moves on and moves and moves on and lose, it'll be party all day long. It moves on and lose and moves on and lose, what are you waiting for? Oh man. It is a mess around here. Uh, um, maybe a week and a half from Thanksgiving, and my DJ equipment has to get packed up because the table that I use for my DJing is also the table that we use for Thanksgiving. And my office upstairs, the table itself will have to be broke down for Thanksgiving too. So I got a lot going on in the next two weeks. But I wanted to discuss something. Uh, so for the past maybe since 2014 um, I've been trying to clean up my setup and I've gone as far as hiding now, at first, when I had the, um, when I had the, uh, the old system, the original system that I started out with, what it had is had three wires sticking out the back. It was a box, maybe about this long and this tall and about that wide. And on this side, it had four channels. And then it had an auxiliary channel and then it had the main power. Uh, each each um, section, it's kind of like the board that I have now, but each section had its own, own volume and control. Now the cool thing about this old setup, it had quarter inch and it had uh, XLR. Uh, it was basically uh, an amp for my 10-inch, um, um, what the, Harbangers. I had the Harbangers speakers, the 10-inch. Um, I had those for the first three years of my DJing, and um, I miss them. I wish I actually had them with this system, because I, oh my God, if I would have kept them, this system would even sound ten times even more, more beautiful, especially after I got the sub. Now the thing that I wanted was when I upgraded to the Roland 505 and the Gemini uh, powered um, speakers, I bought them off IDJ Now uh, last summer. Now the thing that I, I liked about it was the chrome. I, I, I'll be honest with you. The chrome. I want a chrome. I want that chrome black look. I didn't know that I was going to go in this direction that I got today, but I, I needed it. Now, I had. I don't even see it. I had the. Uh, anyway. The very first setup, you could see what I had. If you look closely, I didn't take. <coughs> I wasn't that, um, that tech savvy just yet. Um, I had just come out of the box. That was my very first wedding. I did have a tablecloth to go on the table, which was red, and we had our old red uh, flannel. Okay, so uh, the old uh, polo shirts, but. Uh, so then I ended up getting uh, a red, it was red and white, and it had a little puppy dog on it, and it said, I love dog, I love dogs. And it had a little uh, heart with the dog print. Well, I traded it in for this on my new setup. 
it's a black piece of cloth it was uh, 30 by 30 when it started and then if you uh, notice in here uh, in here I don't think you can see it that good that blue thing right there is the stitch she did a really good job hiding the stitch but that's the front of the stitch and look at the back and that's the back my wife stitched this up for me and I I'm not getting rid of it I'm gonna keep it <coughs> I'm gonna keep it for uh, sun reasons because um, down here uh, we are in the sun maybe 95% of the year uh, due to corona we haven't had that many gigs so then I got a replacement and I want to do that unboxing for that replacement so this I'll show you where it sat so you kind of get an idea you'll see the box too for the replacement but um, and then I'll show you uh, what I have set up Okay, so this right here is uh, this this white stuff right here. Let me get you out to the stand here. As you can see right here on the Roland 505, it has the the I had to put this hole here because my laptop was a 17 inch hole, and so then this hole right here was irrelevant. But I fixed it. Uh, and I made this hole right here because my 17 inch laptop wouldn't fit here. Now I got a, uh, uh, what's the heck is this? 14 inch? Uh, it makes a lot of difference. But, um, so I, I put my whole wires through here now. So this, this hole I'm going to plug up. But um, with some carpet, I'm going to put a new piece of carpet up on top of here. Uh, to replace this carpet. Um, I might use this carpet that I got. This carpet's really nice. But then right here in the back, as you can see here, I got this. And this, I put this with it on the older one. The uh, older one would sit all the way to that hole. And then I got another hole. Let me see. And this would go here. And then it would go all the way to the edge of the of the thing right here, and it would basically the the laptop would put some weight on this cloth and hold the cloth down. And then I got a hole here, a hole. That would be for uh, wires, and then I got the hole here for the wires. And that's what I used to ride with, and, and I, I, I was very comfortable with it for the longest time. And it gets dirty, and you had to take it and wash it and all that other good stuff. But um, I liked it because it was hiding my wires. My wires would be all tucked in there all nice and neat up here, up here going like this and going to where they had to go. And, and that's how I would hide my wire. But I got tired of doing that, so um, I put this hole here and this hole here. I know it looks really tacky. That's going to be covered up. I'm going to put a bolt here and I'm going to put the bolt here. So this is going to be reused. And then I'm going to take the plastic that I got in that box, which we're going to do an unboxing and see the knife and I got the thing ready to cut it up. We're going to do the unboxing, but I want to show you. Uh, this uh, this would be important for new DJs. Um, now a lot of people uh, they don't do this, but to each his own. I mean, a lot of DJs do different things to uh, conceal their wires. But I, I I totally like the clean look of black. So um, and facades to me, um, I don't have room to put one up. Uh, the last house that I did. Uh, I barely could set my equipment up, so, uh, yeah, so that's that's what I'm getting at. So let me show you what this is. This is basically a film of the side uh, for this whole situation. Okay. Okay, so let's get into this box. 
All right, so um, it's I got this from Este. It's E S T Y. Um, if you go there, um, you can get all kinds of cool stuff from there. And the cool thing about Este is it's it's us. It's people like us selling stuff to people. Um, it's sellers from the United States. It's not from China. Uh, you can get embroidered stuff. You can get homemade stickers. You get pretty much, you get factory. Uh, this came from the factory, so uh, that's pretty much what it's uh, show you. So, um, it's called a uh, Cyber Plastic Supply. I will probably be doing a lot of business with them. A lot of business. It uh, came cheap and fast. So let's get into the unboxing. Okay. Uh, hold on. These pretty much, um, you flip them over and pretty much get them off. Um, actually, you can get them off in the future. Usually it's backwards. Usually it's hard to get off. But these are um, a mess. All right. <laughs> they actually did that? No way. <laughs> okay. This is actually a plastic cutter. This is the kind of cutter that you're going to have to get to cut the plastic. I got it from um, Home Depot for like five bucks. But you see that little uh, lip? That little lip there? That's the plastic cutter. Um, oh wow! I'm impressed with the packaging. Very impressed. Drum roll! instructions on how to install this it says oh it's it's basically saying it's the protective film is not on all materials such as the HDPE polyester cyathrin and PVC foam board if you have any questions or issues and it says the service number this is pretty good um, Okay, so one side looks like dirt, but that's not the side that we're going to be using. This is black. This is going to be the back side. Uh, I don't like to look at that one, but that's okay. Okay, so this is the... This is the look at the piece of plastic they sent me. Now this is the back piece of the plastic. Uh, both sides do not have the, the coating. Sorry, my finger is in the way. Uh, so, see, I'll flip it over and I'll show you. This is the other side of the plastic. This is going to be the side that we're going to use uh, for the Logo. Okay, so what we're going to do is so like this. See? See that pretty? Take it off. 
I gotta take it off, so. Might as well do it. Got the finished product as well. That's it. Look how shiny that thing looks. Man, this is gonna pop. It is gonna pop. Okay, so my goal is to flip it like this and put the two holes in it. I don't have much to cut, as you can see. I might just balance it out and not cut it. Um, take it down and then put the two holes in it. And then there's, of course, this piece right here is gonna be cut out where Odyssey is. And I don't know, I li I'm liking that. That looks really good and it's gonna cover the wire really good. Man, I'm impressed with it. It's going to do what I want it to do. And, man, oh man, I wish I would have done this before. Look at that piece of plastic. Okay, so, uh, um, that's pretty much what's going on. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Um, I will poke the holes in it later. Uh, drill the holes in it and get it prepped uh, i have a lot to do out here in the garage in the next couple of days uh, like i said we are getting ready for thanksgiving and christmas around here so i will be posting as much many videos as i can throughout these couple of weeks it's going to be uh pretty hectic uh i'll actually maybe you know what i will show you how I cook a turkey a DJ cooking a turkey yeah I will even show you the whole time time lapse of the turkey from the time I put it in the oven to the time it comes out and ready to go for putting on the table I can't show you anything else because there's a lot of people that are pretty cranky about being on YouTube but I will uh, I will be showing you how to prep a turkey and we use I will be using Tony Sassery's injectables so you have to watch it I think it's a garlic uh, a garlic injectable that I want to use uh, this here uh, to flavor the inside of the turkey uh, and I hope you're ready to watch that uh, I will be showing you this probably, um, let's see, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday, I am actually going to set up again, but this time, hopefully, uh, the 19th. When's the 19th? Hold on. Uh, uh oh. I just got the news. We are getting the COVID vaccine first. That's crazy. They're going to distribute the COVID vaccine. Wow. It's awesome, huh? I ain't going to say nothing much about it, but I, I, I do like that idea. Um, a lot of nurses ain't going to get it. Because um, they feel that uh, it's not the nurses that need to get it. But anyway, the vaccine's coming out. Oh, yeah, let me subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and hit that like button if you like what you hear. If you don't like what you hear, hit the dislike button. Tell me why you don't like this video in the first place, and then maybe I can correct what you don't like. Okay, so my motivational quote for the day is don't fake it till you make it. That's garbage advice. Fact is, till you make it. Get up, work hard, fail, stand back up, face it again, do a little better, fail again, get back up, repeat. If you can't scratch, keep trying. You'll get it. If you can't mix, Keep on trying. You're going to get it. You can't MC. Keep on trying. 
and you're going to get it. If you have problems speaking other languages, keep trying, you'll get it. Peace. It likes to run, it loves to jump, no one could ever stop. A big or small body, it will be there, no matter where or when. It moves on and lose, and moves on and lose, it'll be party all day long. It moves on and lose, and moves on and lose, what are you waiting for?